this hairstyle on freshly washed hair and her hair is actually soaking wet so we just got finished washing her hair and I did not put anything to towel dry it because I wanted to make sure her hair was as wet as possible to activate the curls. So Summer has two different textures of hair. In the back her hair is really kinky and um, there is a ton of shrinkage. So for this wash and go, I'm going to show you guys how I elongate her curls. I am using the Taylor Beauty Perfect Coils Curl and Jelly, of course. And I'm just going to apply that to her hair while it is soaking wet. I did add a leave-in as well. Um, I will be releasing a leave-in in a couple of months. So there is a leave-in under this as well as the Curl and Jelly. So you want to make sure the hair is completely detangled. I like using this detangling brush. You can use this, you can use a Denman brush. And then some parts of her hair where her texture is looser, I don't even use a brush. I just finger detangle. So here is a glimpse of what her hair looks like once the curls are activated. And I'm going ahead and I'm using my stretching plates to go ahead and stretch the curls but i'm not manipulating the curls i'm just stretching it to give her hair the length every time i start on a new section i make sure the hair is soaking wet so i am applying water and i am applying leave-in conditioner and this is going to be my base to make sure her hair is very moisturized the gel is very moisturizing as well and it has a lot of slip so that really helps me to activate the curls as well as make sure everything's completely detangled. I am raking my fingers through the hair as you can see to activate the curls. Another layer of gel um, just to make sure it's as curly as possible and I'm just going to continue to rake that into the hair until the gels clump and I can see her curl pattern. one side with the clips and one side without as you can see the curls are a little stretched so now it is time for me to go ahead and put her under the dryer um, I'm adding my last clip all the curls are clumped together and um, I'm going to do two rounds under the dryer so you guys know that I love my bonnet hair dryer I love the link to everything in the video below but um i let her sit under the dryer for about seven minutes under medium heat um so the curls never fully dry you don't want them to fully dry because you still want to give the curls time to pretty much get bigger um but you want it to be dry enough i also went ahead midway through and flipped them over so that i can get the ones under um dry as well so I'm taking them out and I want to say they're about 60% dry. They are not dry all the way, but they are dry enough for me to get them as stretched as possible. Back and forth, around and around to make sure her curls clump together and to give her some volume. In the roots, I'm not going to manipulate her hair, This, but this is going to help the curls clump just a little bit more. As you can see, they are drying, and I'm just going to go through her hair and inspect her hair to make sure all of the curls are clumped together. Um, if it does look white, it will dry. That just means that some parts of her hair um, have not dried all the way, but once it dries, everything will be nice and shiny and sleek. And here is the final look. She is feeling herself, y'all. Can y'all tell she's feeling herself? <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you guys found this helpful. This is how I do her wash and goes to stretch her hair. Otherwise, her um, I wouldn't be able to get the full length on her wash and goes. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.